previously on Sam Brother, eight complete strangers have moved into the Sam Brother house. As they entered the house, they began to get to know each other. The first head of household competition had taken place. Crystal had chosen Tate to be the first head of household. Who will Tate nominate for eviction? Find out tonight on Sam Brother. So I won the first head of household, which is great, because now I can get with my alliance and find out who we want to nominate first and get out of the house. So Tate is talking to Aaron and Malachi to get together later to talk strategy. Uh, Malachi and Aaron are going to be discussing who they want to get out of the house, which obviously Crystal is number one target for them. And now they're having a hard time deciding if they want to get uh, Tyler or uh, Matt out. So they're going to go and finish their game and then uh, get together with their alliance to figure what the next move is going to be. So I'm super stoked that Tate won the HOH because that means I'm definitely going to be safe this week. I don't know how I feel about Tate being head of household. Me and him haven't really talked that much, but uh, hopefully I'll be safe this week. Flash. Aaron and Tate are playing chess, discussing strategy. She definitely wants uh, Crystal out, and um, Tate doesn't know if he's going to do Tyler or Matt as uh, another nominee. Uh, he definitely wants to get the lines together so they can sit down and discuss it as a team and see which will be best for their alliance, um, so. So the general consensus is to get uh, Crystal out, so um, that's going to be a possibility, but uh, Sim Brother just informed me that I get my own personal room, so I'm going to invite the house guests to see it now. Hey everybody, who wants to see my HOH room? The house guests are walking into the head of household room. Uh, it's their own personal room that they get uh, while they're head of household with their own bathroom. Um, everyone's uh, checking out. <coughs> they're actually uh, liking the way it looks. It has great decor in it. It's really bright. Uh, he even has a fish tank above his bed. Um, so now we're going to go into the bathroom and uh, check it out. He has his own big hot tub type thing uh, with the jets in it. And then uh, he get, gets a bathrobe. And just showing a little decor in the bathroom. The HOH room is amazing. I wish I was HOH. I would love to have the privacy of my own room. But uh, congrats, Tate, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Hey, the HOH room is pimping, but uh, it's time to kick these uh, other scrubs out so uh, my lions can get down to business. So the alliance is uh, discussing um, who they're going to put up for a nomination, which Crystal is the number one target. Uh, but they're not sure if they should put her up against Matt or Tyler, which they're leaning more towards Matt because Crystal and Matt seem to be in, uh, really close, and uh, they have a nickname for them called the Gruesome Twosome, but uh, that can actually end up being a threat later down the road. So it keeps going back with if it's going to be Matt or Tyler to get put up for nomination, who cares, just pick one. As long as it's not us, we'll be guaranteed safe for at least three weeks. We just gotta make sure one of them doesn't get in the power. Uh -huh. Crystal and Matt are discussing uh, just uh -huh. what their life is like outside the Sim Brother house. Uh, she's actually getting close with him and see him as a potential ally. Uh, she does feel like the rest of the house is against her and uh, hopefully uh, together they'll be able to stay and uh, hopefully make it to the final two. Or at least that's what she wants. Me and Crystal are actually getting pretty close. Uh, we're talking about a possible alliance uh, for her and I to be the final two. Uh, it does seem like the rest of the house is against her, so I just have to do what I can to keep her safe. So I'm teaming up with Matt because I really think he has my back in this game. Uh, I'm starting to regret that I picked Tate to be the first head of household. I think I would have felt safer with uh, Aaron being it, but uh, I feel like the house is going to be trying to get me out first. So Justice is talking to Dario about making an alliance with them too, because after they get the three out, it's going to be all the five against each other, and she wants to make sure she has someone on her side. Okay, so Crystal and Matt are hanging out again uh, while, you know, everyone's getting ready for bed. Uh, so they're just kind of just hanging out and just trying to relax, uh, because tomorrow is going to be the nominations, and they're a little nervous about that, so they're just trying to, you know, cut loose a little bit. Yeah. 
So Tate woke up with Tyler in his bathroom taking a bath, and so he starts yelling at him like, what the hell, um, don't just come in my room taking my bath, I'm the HOH, not you. So he continues to yell at him a little bit, and then, uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. So I wake up, and Tyler is in my damn bathtub, like seriously, I'm sleeping, and you're just going to walk in my room and take a shower in my bathroom? Tyler's yelling back at Tate saying, you told me I can use it anytime I wanted to. I was quiet. I'm sorry if I woke you up. That wasn't my intent. Sorry. Seriously, what's wrong with this guy? He told us we can come in anytime we wanted to. I wasn't like bothering him, but uh, I guess I just gotta, you know, not step on any toes because, you know, he can still nominate me if he wants to be that petty. He's just making my decision on who to nominate with Crystal so much easier. So Crystal is uh, insulting justice. So she walks away and then uh, tries to be like passive aggressive and then just start talking about things that's bothering her uh, without actually directing justice herself. So uh, we can actually see tempers are going to be rising here soon. Crystal uh, keeps making uh, these nice comments to me. She better watch out because she don't know who she's messing with. I, I don't play with that and I will put her in her place if need be. So Justice is now uh, telling Crystal how she feels. Matt decides to jump in as well, but she's not having it. So they kind of just sit there quiet afterwards. So Justice started going off on Crystal, and I had to step in because I'm tired of everyone treating her like she's some bad person or something when she's just been nothing but nice. So I'm tired of everyone ganging up on her. So Crystal kept antagonizing Justice, and she finally just went off on her. But luckily it was in front of the house, so everyone's going to know exactly how Crystal is. So hopefully we can get her out this week. Crystal is creating a negative vibe in this house. She will be nominated. Uh, the question is, is it going to be Matt or is it going to be uh, Tyler next to her? Um, still have to make a decision on that one. So after the little fight, everyone decided to go to a bonfire outside, uh, trying to just try to keep the peace and hopefully uh, nothing else, else erupts. Uh, so. So obviously Crystal is going to be a target because of her negative attitude and it looks like Matt might be joining her because he's been jumping on a bandwagon. So I'm going to take this time to talk to Tate about this morning and apologize so hopefully I'm no longer a target and let him get those two out. Hey man, I just want to apologize about this morning. Hey, don't worry about it. It happens. Just don't let it happen again. So Tyler came and apologized to me. Uh, I don't really think he was sorry. I think he was just doing that to save his hide since there was a blowout with Crystal and then Matt had to join in on that. So I think he's just trying to save his own butt. So there might be a romance uh, brewing between Aaron and Tate as uh, they're going to be sleeping in the same bed. Which this is the first time for that. They have been getting close the last couple of days. Um, they're really good allies and probably going to be trying to work it till the end. <laughs> so see how that goes with them. So Malachi and uh, Tyler are always the first ones up in the morning, uh, so they're just sitting there cooking breakfast and just small talk, but nothing out of the ordinary. So Crystal is uh, going off again on Justice uh, about her snoring, even though everyone in the house seems to snore. Justice has enough, and then she finally steps up to Crystal, and she dumps her uh, drink on her, telling her to stop playing around, she's not messing with her anymore. So Justice and Crystal have not been getting along, and Justice like just dumped her drink all over her. I thought it was hilarious, but at the same time kind of freaks me out. I would not want to cross Justice. She looks like she can beat some ass. So I'm sick of uh, Crystal's bull, bull crap. So I sat down with her and Matt and set them straight. So Dario's telling Crystal to cut the crap and also telling Matt to quit instigating it as well because they are putting a target on her back. So... Hopefully this is the end of it and not has to be discussed again. Dario and Aaron are having a secret meeting in the supply closet and pretty much Dario's telling Aaron that they have to get Crystal out. It doesn't matter who they put up against uh, her. She needs to be the one to go this week. So it's safe to say that everyone's on the same page. Crystal will be the one leaving this week. So Tyler is talking to Justice, trying to calm her down with the episode that just happened in the kitchen. Uh, she is very upset. Matt comes to apologize. Uh, she really doesn't want to hear it right now, but uh, she's just being open-minded, just letting it go in one ear and not the other. Um, and uh, Tate comes out, and so Justice automatically is getting in a little bit better mood, one of her allies out there. So uh, he obviously is going to make sure there's no more inc incidences. Um, so the rest of the day should be fine. 
uh, just pretty much just is like keep Crystal away from me and everything will be good. <laughs> so Dargo's talking to Tate, uh, let me know everything for the plans good to go. Obviously not getting them too specific because they're out in a uh, public common area. So uh, they're just making sure that their plans good to go and it is uh, ready for the nomination ceremony. Uh, so they're continue talking. Now they're just talking about stuff they've done, you know, before, like sports they played and you know schools they went to, and uh, so they're just gonna have a conversation there, just kind of enjoy the fire. Uh, Dario's enjoying the food. Uh, Justice cooks for everybody, I believe. Here comes Crystal. Um, Tate doesn't really want to fight. She came up and pretty much kind of gave a half-assed apology, but uh, they're talking and. Uh, just saying that they're not going to put up with any drama, so uh, she needs to learn how to get along with the other people in the house. So Tate took Justice up to his uh, HOH room, Aaron's up there as well. Uh, Justice pretty much venting, venting about how she's upset with how Crystal's just like antagonizing her and like singling her out and stuff. Uh, doesn't know what she did to upset her so much, but you know, that's her number one target now too. And that just seems to be the consistency with the house. Uh, so, obviously, they're feeling that this is going to be a good week for them because it's the first week and everyone is on the same page. So, no one should be getting too much blood on their hands. Uh, so, Tate is continuing to explain possible solutions and uh, strategies because uh, once those three get out of the house, they're going to have to start, you know, going after each other. So, they need to make an alliance within the alliance. And now Tate decided it was time for him to work out. Aaron's about to join them, and Jess is like, nope, I'm good right here. So I was up in the HOH room with Aaron and Tate, and um, we're discussing strategy as usual. And of course, they're actually helping me, calming me down with the situation that's been going on. But uh, then they started working out, and Big Mama, she doesn't do none of that workout stuff. I love to eat, so I just end up having to leave and let them uh, finish their workout. So... Tyler's uh, sneaking back up in the HOH room to uh, take a shower, um, even though he's already been told not to do. Uh, Tate's downstairs, uh, but what Tyler doesn't know is Tate knows what's going on. So Tate, Malachi, and uh, Aaron are discussing the nomination ceremony that's going to be taking place. Uh, Tyler pretty much has made his decision on who he's going to nominate and uh, just hope that everyone gets Crystal out because that's his main target. Uh, he's tired of the negativity that's going on in the house, so is Aaron. Uh, Malachi even has expressed some uh, concerns. He's very quiet and not really outspoken, but uh, he too feels that Crystal is the one that should go because of the negativity that she's been uh, causing inside the Sim Brother house. All right, everybody, it's time for the nomination ceremony. Please make your way to the dining room table. So we got the house guests coming up. They're uh, going to be seated uh, since Tate is the HOH. He will actually be standing at the head of the table. And we are just waiting for the rest of the people. Oh, so actually, we're just waiting for Malachi to come. This is the nomination ceremony. As head of household, it is my responsibility to nominate two house guests for eviction. With that said, the first person I nominate is... Crystal, and second is Tyler. Crystal, I nominated you because since you've been in this house, you've been in fights, uh, have no d respect for anyone, um, and you have to give off a negative vibe. Tyler, I nominated you because you have constantly been using my shower without permission, uh, but it's not that petty. It's just also I can see you being a big threat down the road, so I figure I need to get rid of you right away. And this concludes the nomination ceremony. Wogra, Vimpa, Gil. Who will be evicted from the Sin Brother house? Crystal or Tyler? And will the nomination stick? Find out next time on Sin Brother. Insane nurse guy.